you're all doing well. I want to welcome you to Math, Measurement, and Literacy, our summer course. And I just wanted to walk you through a few things and make sure that um, I hopefully answer a lot of your questions. And of course, if you have more, you can always shoot me an email. So when you first log into your Moodle course, it's going to take you to this first day of class tab first. But before that, I want you to go to the welcome page. And here's information about me. I don't have an office or an office phone, but I answer my emails usually really quick. Um, you know, at least within the day, but sometimes I'll answer them immediately. I don't like my emails to pile up. So you can read through this. This is a little bit more introduction for me. I'm not going to read it for you. Uh, and the first thing you're going to do is take the enrollment, or one of the first things you're going to do is take the enrollment verification quiz. But we'll look at that again in a minute. So after you read through my little welcome, you'll go to first day of class. And you can see here it's listed what uh, I want you to do in the specific order. First, read the syllabus. Make sure that this is what you're supposed to be signed up for and that you want to be signed up for it. And so you can click on the syllabus right here and it'll pull it up. Second, you'll want to do the enrollment verification quiz. Now, this is not a quiz and this is not your part of your grade, but it's like two, four questions, something very, very short, which you have to do by June 4th to stay in this class. It's just telling it, the school telling Wilson that you lo have logged into the course and you're agreeing to stay in the course for the for the time being okay so be sure and do that the third thing is to watch the intro videos which is what you've started to do now and that is where our intro video was and then there's also an intro to my math lab video, so that'll tell you a little bit about how to get to my math, math excuse me, my math lab, and how to navigate my math lab. Okay, um, I'll give you a little tidbit here, but not not too much. That'll go into it a little more for you for you guys that have not used my math lab before. And these are the registration instructions for our class, and our course ID is right here. It's also on the registration instructions. Then you can read a little bit about me in there. just tells you a little bit about who I am, and I'll, yeah, that's about it. <laughs> and then we have the syllabus quiz. Now, this is a required grade. It is an easy 100, so do it. It's very easy. Um, as long as you've read the syllabus, if you don't make a 100 the first time, keep taking it. You'll make a 100 quickly. I want you to make a 100 because, one, it's an easy 100, and two, uh, you, you really need to understand what your expectations are for this course. And then down here, I would love to hear a little bit about you, so you can click there and write a little something, and I will plan to get on and answer you a bit. Okay, so then after you complete the syllabus quiz, sign up for my math lab, and I'll show you that in a minute. I'm going to go some more, through some more tabs here. There's some course or information here that you can read through. It's basically um, Wilson Community College information. So read through that. Then the next tab is your calendar. Now what I like to do is I've got specific due dates on here of course and but I like to write it out like um, give you an idea of kind of like a planner of this is what you should do today this is what you should do tomorrow this is what you should do Wednesday whether you do it in that order if you um, work ahead or you work at the last minute that's up to you this is what I suggest in order for you to stay on top of things so like tomorrow you would watch the first lecture take notes and do the very first homework in my math lab and then due dates are listed on here and this could change 
um, before the semester starts. So, but it, it'll it'll be up here for you. But you, you'll have due dates are bolded here, and then your test is due on a specific date, and that's how it's listed for the entire course. Okay. And here you can download and print that out. And I know that says spring, but yeah, it's obviously summer. Um, okay, so the resource tab, there's announcements will be here. And this will be the first screen that you'll see in a few days. I'll set this to be the first one. Uh, so you can see announcements first thing. And same information about me. If you th in this section, I'll put things you might need as we move along. So if you need, if I think you need, you know, let's see, you won't need graph paper, but like uh, conversion sheets, stuff like that, I will put in here for you to have access to. This is some my math lab tech tips and information if you're having problems with my math lab. Okay, so on to the first unit that you'll start on Tuesday. This is how I do things. Um, on this first one, I've recorded another little video for you, talking to you about why I do things the way I do. Um, I'm, so I won't go through that right now. But you've got five unit or five sections in the first unit, and so you would go into the first section, and you have a lecture video that I have recorded with several examples. And down here you have the handout and the notes. So here's what this looks like. If you pull up the handout, it has everything, all the definitions, uh, anything you might need up here, formulas, that type of thing. And then we've got the examples. And so what I like you to do is print this out for each section. And as we go through the video, I'm going to be working these same examples. So you can just go through and write in as we go um, through the examples. Some students, it helps to write, so that's why I did it like this. Then you have the notes sheet that I've made up. That's the same thing with all the solutions in it. So whichever option you like, but I would, you know, I would prefer you to print out the handout and actually, you know, write something as you go, unless that is just not the way you learn at all. Okay, so each section is like that. You'll go on to section one, two next, and it's got the same deal with the video, the handout, and the notes. So that's about it for Moodle. Very quickly, I'm just going to show you my math lab. This is what it'll look like when you first pull it up. All your homework is listed here. There are practice tests here that are not required. Okay, the reviews are required, but the practice tests are not. It's just another practice before you take your test because that's a big part of your grade. And then tests are listed here. So, and you can look at your grade book at any time, that type of thing. Of course, I've got a zero right now because I haven't done anything. But you get the idea. And like I said, there is another video here that will give you a little bit more in-depth information about my math lab. So I think that's all we need to cover right now, and I look forward to working with you. If after you've gone through your syllabus and everything and, and the videos, if you still have questions for me, feel free to shoot me an email, and I'll be glad to answer them. Also, as you're working through the course, if you run into a problem that you don't know how to work and you've gone through the examples in my math lab and everything and, and you've watched the videos and taken notes and you still don't understand something, then you are very welcome to send me an email and I will help you work through it. Okay? So, uh, we'll, we'll be talking again soon, I'm sure.